You have many ideas for generative AI projects, but how do you select the best one? I'm going to give you five selection criteria based on successes at other companies. Welcome to episode 23. This is the first video in our generative AI step-by-step -step mini series. Over the next few videos, I'll walk through a new generative AI project from start to deployment and address the major decisions and activities. For example, I'll show you how to select the best model, prepare data, optimize prompts, and design the user experience. Today, I'm gonna to cover the very first step, selecting your best generative AI project. Most companies are overwhelmed by their options and don't know where to start. I was in this position a few days ago. I needed to pick a new generative AI project for this step-by-step -step mini series, and I had a number of ideas. All had pros and cons, and many potential challenges were unknown. So I created the following decision criteria for selecting the best generative AI project. Criteria one, fast start. The number one generative AI mistake is analysis paralysis. Some companies are spending months asking questions and exploring possible options, hoping to identify the perfect project. Unfortunately, the technology is changing too fast and most questions cannot be answered until you start. Additionally, you can always switch projects and reuse most of the work. So pick a project and get going. Criteria two, accessible data. Many initial generative AI projects stall because the engineering team cannot access the data. The company may not have the data, it might require significant engineering work, or policies prevent the team from using it. While every project requires some data work, pick one where you can access the data. Criteria three, available experts. Projects with general goals like chat with your documents never succeed. Real problems are complex and developers need timely feedback from experts to make progress. Pick a project where the users are available for quick feedback. Criteria four, many paths to success. Some companies use impact as their first and often only decision criteria, but projecting ROI is nearly impossible with new technology. Instead, pick a project that is open-ended with many possible paths to success, including small, quick wins. Criteria five, align to your experience. If this is your first generative AI project, start simple. Pick a problem that can be solved with straightforward text processing, such as document summarization or entity extraction. Don't begin with agent orchestration or other advanced techniques like scratch pads. These are five criteria for selecting your best generative AI project. So what project did we choose? We're going to build a solution that uses large language models to understand and interact with our code base. We're calling it Ground Crew and hope to improve code maintenance, knowledge management, engineering onboarding, documentation, and identify potential code issues. Project Ground Crew will complement GitHub's Copilot. Whereas Copilot helps you generate code, Ground Crew helps you understand your code and keep it running. Let's walk through the five decision criteria. One, fast start. We spent one day evaluating options before selecting Ground Crew and started immediately. Two, accessible data. The data is our NeoSophia GitHub repository we use for making the demos in these videos, so we have it. Three, available experts. We're building the solution for our own development team so we can evaluate the utility ourselves. Four, many paths to success. Even small benefits will be instantly useful for our team and companies watching us build Ground Crew may want us to build one for them. Five, align to our experience. We've already built many complex generative AI solutions using advanced techniques and wanted a project that would further challenge us. So that's how we picked Project Ground Crew. In coming episodes of this generative AI step-by-step -step mini series, I'll show you how we're building it and provide insight you can use on your own projects. Be sure to subscribe and sign up for our email newsletter so you don't miss a critical episode. Now watch this next video and I'll show you how to create your AI strategy and convince others to get behind your first generative AI project.